I'm going to talk about my green album. Uh, there we go. This is one of the first songs I ever made. I had a bunch of friends come around from overseas during the release of Smash Ultimate, and after getting my ass kicked for a couple of hours, I decided to change careers and make a batch of terrible songs that I would then leave to rot. Um, I knew about Serum, so I took a sample from a saw wave and brought that into Audacity and pitched it up and down, I think, three semitones at a time until I found a melody that I liked and then kind of earballed it to recreate an FL because uh, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I knew how to edit audio, but I didn't know how to write music at all. Uh, two years later, I would open it back up and thought it might be cool to remaster the song and put it as the first song on the album as a way to kind of prime the experience. The lead over the song was improvised and then edited to be in time. I think I was just playing around with stock FL Studio beats um, and throwing a couple of things together. I think the I think the pad sound on this is uh, also Harmore, which is a built-in FL Studio plugin. The whole album is very FL heavy, uh, and I think that's fun. make something that felt like a Sonic Riders track, or at least something of that era, so I kind of went into this song, try to keep that chaotic energy in mind. Bad. I really love this song. Uh, I made this in like 20 minutes before I had to go to work, and Zuri was sitting on the bed beside me when I finished the kind of loop that ended up becoming the song. I just danced around and played with her while I was getting ready for work. I don't know, great memories with this track, really love this one. This is one of those first like 10 songs that I made, and I don't hate it, uh, but it sticks out as strange to me. Uh, it kind of feels half-baked, I don't know, it needs something, there's a lot missing to it, I feel. I don't know what demon possessed me to make this track. Uh, the mix is really all over the place. Uh, the bass is really bad. In hindsight, I could remaster this song and do it way more justice because I really love it, but I'm way too lazy. Oh, this is also the start of a really funny thing. Um, I am a dumbass, and when I started adding guitar parts, I would accidentally flip the chords upside down. So instead of having a high E, I would have a low E and a high A, which... dumbass. This leads to every song on Y with a guitar on it sounding exceptionally weird, which I couldn't figure out until I realized what I was doing. Lol. have some songs in the album that referenced my childhood. So this samples Jelly Pipe from Yoshi Story as a homage to that game and to my mom who loves Yoshi. Um, shout out to Yoshi. That guy got a big nose. He can really smell. anything to say about this one. <sighs> this one started as a joke because my friend Cisco, who loves Hatsune Miku and I wanted to write a duet song between him and Miku of them falling in love but uh, it turned into more of just her laying in bed thinking about a relationship with him, and I kind of liked that idea it was easy for me to write, so um, it kind of went that way. Instrument-wise, it's just your standard funk crap. 
uh, live bass, some Nexus 2 pads. Cut-wise, there's like 40 versions of the third chorus that remain uh, in this little section here. I didn't love these versions because they felt too grandiose. I wanted the song to feel very small. Um, I even had my friend Matt put in some chords for it. It just, it was tough. It felt better to stick to that core loop. Um, the eight bar loop just felt right. So none of this stuff made it in. Oh, and to address the long version and the short version, the radio edit is um, a distilled version of the song. I wanted to have something that felt more upbeat. So the long version is the original version that I wrote, which is very sad, and she gets quite negative by the end of it. And the radio edit is a more positive version of it because I thought keeping with the positivity in the song would be kind of fun. And that's the version I like the most. It's one I made the lyric video for, so... You know, uh, come on. This song is epic. It's mostly guitar and synth made to sound like guitar, which is epic. Uh, nothing cut here. On to the next house! Uh, I made this one in like six hours, and it's just a guitar and some beatboxing samples. And that's it. Wow. I think this album ended up being exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, the 80s and 90s Sega vibes brings a warmth to my decrepit and withering soul. Consider this. It doesn't really matter where stuff goes or how good it is. Just explore ideas and pick out the ones that work best for whatever context you want to use them in. Because something that sucks ass in one context might be really funny in the right context. Then you'll be called a genius. This album was made up of stuff that worked in an album context, but the rest of it just got put into a folder of songs that can be used for later. Uh, you people act like you have to release everything you make. I... Like, come on. Have some class? There isn't some kind of evil dictator forcing you to upload everything you make, right? It just makes you look weak. But if desperation is your game, try recording an injury. If you survive, the, you'll be known as 
that guy who turned his penis inside out and lived. See if that'll work. Better yet, do it on Twitch. It'll be a kind of hazing ritual for fame. Idiot. <laughs>